613 at 10. These folks are raising their voices in praise, thanking God for what they say is a miracle. Parishioners at Desert Sun Church have been praying for a permanent place to worship. They have been renting the cafeteria at a northwest side elementary school. But the church has outgrown that. They say they placed the matter in God's hands, and now they have a new church to call home. Shelly Jackson joins us from the newsroom with more about this gift from God. Shelly? Well, Valerie, parishioners are calling it a miracle. They say it shows just how powerful prayer can be. These believers say it was God's amazing grace that led their growing congregation to a new home. It just kind of blew us away. We were just really, really surprised, but what a, what a neat blessing. Desert Sun Church has held Sunday services here at Coyote Trails Elementary School in the cafeteria for the last three years. We were growing. We were getting too big for the church, or the cafeteria here and uh, needed some Sunday school space. Parishioners decided to put the matter in God's hands. We've been praying that God would provide us with a facility. And then the phone call came. Uh, suddenly, uh, Valley Baptist, about a month and a half ago, uh, called us and they said, you know what, we're considering uh, uh, disbanding as a church, but we want to uh, see our legacy continue uh, through another church. And we've visited your services, and we really believe that God's working there. And so we'd like you to take our facility over. Wright and other church members couldn't believe it. Valley Baptist was offering them this church and five acres of land. And the generosity didn't stop there. The church also handed over its bank account with $62,000 in it. We have to give him all the praise because he's the one who's done this. Not really anything we've done. He dropped it in our laps. Oh, it's a, just a miracle. <laughs> it's just the power of prayer. Now Desert Sun does plan to do some renovating. It should be up and ready for church services the first Sunday in September, Valerie. Yeah, that's a great story. Thanks, Shelley. Yeah.